are in our search for the perfect travel backpack. The free fit. <laughs> The first impressions today are of Lower Pro. Why did we choose this backpack? Simple things. Budget, size, usability. This is a backpack we bought for price of 58 euros and 95 cents. And our goal is to be able to put our Alpha 600 Sony camera, our little GoPro 7 Black, together with all of its gear and the little accessories that we go for, chargers, um, what is this, a power bank, anchor, extra batteries of course, food, we like our food, water and phone and then hopefully also a jacket. This one already uh, catches my eye with the two mesh pockets water, stay hydrated, very important when you're on a hike. We also have three pockets. The first one is a side pocket, doesn't go all the way down, stops all the way here. It's good if you want to put your train tickets, tickets for the cable card or anything else that you might need quick access to. Second pocket, you have this. So let's give it a look. There is a space for your phone. We'll slide it in. Doesn't really go all the way down and it really looks like it's kind of in the way. There is another big slide pocket that goes really all the way down. But honestly, what are you going to put there? It is quite uncomfortable to go that way. You have two little pockets for pens or pencils. Honestly, I never need that when I travel. And two other very, very um, short pockets. No idea why they're in there. Okay. Then up for the big compartment. It zips through all the way down. And it opens like a suitcase. So before we go into this side, I just quickly want to show you this side. Over here. We have only one tiny pocket, it is for SD cards. Honestly, it's okay, but I prefer my SD cards to be secured with a zipper. I would personally never put my SD cards here. Now, for the big guns. We are opening this compartment. I already played around with it, it is not as beautiful as it arrived when we ordered, but that is not the point. The point is to see if it's functional. Why I ordered this is because it had this little zip compartment where I thought that I could easily just throw things in that I don't really care about and then uh, that will be it, which is true, you can just do that. The thing is that my camera is not your uh, ordinary big chunky piece, it is quite small but I still like to have it protected. So. If I ever wanted to put it here, honestly, any of the configurations that I used, I did not particularly like, simply because the camera stays snugged, but then everything else here is quite big. So the small parts of the GoPro were just... Honestly, for 58 euros and 95 cents, I did expect more. It does deliver on size and color, but in terms of usability, it is not really what I had in mind. Oh my God, that looks huge. Does it, does it, is it even, what the hell is that? That is case logic. So is this significantly bigger than the red one? Why am I showing you this then? This little backpack that is highly unfunctional in my opinion costs 58 euros and 95 cents. This one costs 64 euros and 99 cents. That's the difference of only 6 euros and 4 cents. So what do you get more for 6 euros and 4 cents? First of all, it is way more comfortable. Once you put it on with all the mesh and extra back support, you're really gonna be happy. Then it has this 
did. You can put this backpack on stone, on rock, on whatever ground you want and know that whatever is in it is secure. You don't have to gently put the camera on the ground hoping that the padding inside works. You can just go and know that it works. We still have three pockets, front, middle and back. On the side we also have this pocket with extra mesh pockets in it. Here you also have very, very thick stripes which are supported by a leather stripe support here, which means that this can really carry something heavy in a sturdy way. Which is good, because when you're on the cable card or on the mountain card or, you know, just going very, very quick on the mountain bike through rocks, you don't really like your things flying around. I lost a bottle of water like this and we're very thirsty the entire afternoon. Let's open the first pocket. First pocket is quite simple. You can slide things in here, you can put things in here. I think I would personally just go for my phone over here. Okay. Here we have a pocket for a laptop. The backpack, adver backpack advertises 15 to 16 inch PC or 17 inch MacBook Pro. However, who carries a laptop on a hiking trip? Instead of using it for a laptop, we are going to use this to try and fit a jacket. Marvelously. Now, for the big reveal, we're opening the second and biggest pocket. The beauty of this backpack is that you don't have to open it all the way to get access to your camera. And with this padding here, the LCD display of your camera is always protected. One other thing that I really, really like about this backpack, suspension system. So you put the lens through this pocket over here and then it just goes like that. You have really, really easy access to it, but you also know that the camera does not support itself on its lens, but it supports itself on an extra suspension padding. But we do have an extra pocket over here. I will try to show it to the best of my abilities. It is a mesh rubber pocket. Honestly, I think that here is where I would put all my SD cards and things that I need to see what they are But still keep them protected from water and rain. And this is the big compartment. I have played a little bit around with it But what is the really really cool part of it is that the padding is super thick Honestly, it is not a sponge. It is still soft and it's reliable So I know that whatever I put in here is going to be protected. Usually this backpack says that if it's an SLR camera, a drone, a big lens and then extra things. We're starting with obviously the camera, putting in the suspense pocket for it and just leaving it there. When we travel we also travel with a GoPro and what I like for my GoPro is to actually use its own bag. I know, Mr. Bean bag in a bag. But what are we gonna do? We have the GoPro here. We have extra batteries. We have extra uh, GoPro things, which I have no idea where they are. We close the back and we can put it in the backpack. So if you ever want to switch from, if we ever want to switch from our Sony to a GoPro, it is very easy, nothing is flying around and everything is exactly where it should be. We also have space for anchor. This is our power bank. I'm just going to drop it in over here. Some headphones. Also, I am going to rid, get rid of a padding here because we do not need it. And what I'm going to add there is this. Last but not least is also the GoPro harness.
So, we close on the backpack. And we know that we have everything here. Honestly, for six euros and four cents more, which one do you think is the obvious choice? Thanks for watching, subscribe, comment, <laughs> like.